All right. So CNN announced today it's going to launch a 24 7, all, all, all live, all the time, streaming news service called CNN Max on September 27th. CNN's press release adds that it'll be part of an open beta for news experimentation that will take input from the Max community. CNN Max will be available across all of Max subscription tiers. Listeners might remember that Warner Brothers Discovery killed CNN Plus 16 months ago, less than a month after it launched. CNN Plus was an online-only subscription streaming service that focused on CNN personality-driven shows. CNN Max will not be a streaming version of the CNN channel, but will feature some of the tentpole shows from the network like Anderson Cooper 360, The Lead with Jake Tapper, Amin Poor, and The Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer. So Charlotte, what is it this time? You know, what what is CNN Max this time? How's it different than CNN Plus? Well, obviously, Max is bigger than CNN Plus, isn't it, uh, Rob? You know, you can tell it's bigger <laughs> and better because of the name. Um, I think this is a much more <laughs> compelling offering, actually, isn't it? Because I think what people want is access to news and information. And that was like CNN Plus was a bit of a weird mismatch of like, Anderson Cooper talking about his family and then some like it was a bit weird when people think of CNN they think of hard news right mostly and some documentaries and it was kind of a bit of a weird mismatch and it didn't really make sense um the fact that they cut it off I think was not very good if you read uh, Sarah Fisher's story in Axios who broke this before CNN actually announced it um that was she points out it was very bad for morale uh, the dropping of CNN Plus so quickly, and obviously it cost people their jobs and so on and so forth. But it is trying to compete with the streaming offers from others, MSNBC, obviously uh, now, uh, well, M M NBC now, Fox News does, does streaming stuff as well, doesn't it? So it's obviously trying to compete with those clear rivals. Uh, I was kind of thinking how different this is also to what streaming news is like in the UK. So like, the BBC, you just go to the BBC iPlayer and you can watch the BBC News Channel. It's just there for free. Sky News actually puts loads of, has a stream of its news as well. It's embedded in the app. It's embedded on its website. Pretty easy to access for free. So I, it seems more complicated in the US. I guess that's because of cable bundles and stuff. And obviously one of the things Warner Brothers Discovery, the people that now run CNN, uh, are keen to have is younger viewers watching cnn because we know that young people just do not watch cable news do they um they're too busy watching dtns but <laughs> what that means is that they're not buying cable bundles so you've got to get some value and money out of them some way so there's obviously going to be advertising on cnn max uh they might look at some kind of ad tech uh solutions to do better targeted adding as time goes on i think that idea of a open beta is really interesting as well they're not pretending that this is the final finished product and what's perfect for their viewers straight off the bat they're not pretending that anymore and um, we should say it's a section within the max app now you know i i, I think you make a really good point charlotte that uh you know the uh, cnn max is at least uh you know front facing saying you know what give us some feedback. Let us know how we're doing. Yep. Uh, we're all just about news for you. Even though CNN Plus was supposedly more of that, but it was sort of more, I, I think, um, I never actually watched it. <laughs> there you go. You know, a lot of people didn't because uh, it came and went within a month. But, you know, it was more of a sort of like, the CNN personalities and, you know, more of that, you know, less breaking news and more of the you know, the CNN stuff that most people, uh, some people at least would care about. Um, when we're in the situation where we have so many ways to get streaming content, whether it be part of a cable package or, you know, a la carte kind of thing, I wonder, I wonder how much uh, CNN Max is, is going to thrive. Um, I don't think it's a terrible idea. In fact, uh, as somebody who pays for YouTube TV, because I don't even I don't even watch it. I don't even watch mm. anything that's sort of like cable network esque things. But maybe there's an earthquake, 
I might go to CNN, right. you know, or some other news channel type thing to have something like that at my disposal that's less sort of lifestyle stuff and more um yeah, Natural news. You know, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I, I don't exactly know what it's going to look like. Rob, what are your thoughts on this? So I actually think that CNN Max may have a shot, unlike CNN Plus did. Because the problem with Plus was that the, the demographic that you're going after, they're not buying CNN. They're, you know, if they were going to do that, they would have just watched cable. Mm -hmm. um, so to have a another service that wasn't the same content that you even got on the thing that they already weren't watching was just a, I think, a, you know, a bridge too far. I think with this, though, the fact that it's coming with something that literally millions of people already have, folks will get to kind of play around with it and see, oh, OK, yeah, I actually kind of like that. Oh, I, I like that thing that wasn't regular Anderson Cooper that was a little bit something different. I think it's just it's, it's giving people the opportunity to kind of test it out before they go and feel like they have to buy yet another service. Yeah, and we should say there's going to be four hours of every day of original programming. Uh, I, th I think it's basically because there's contractual agreements. You can't just start shut off uh, the you know the CNN in America International feed onto a streaming service. So there is going to be four hours that is different from your normal CNN. So I think that could be quite compelling for certain viewers as well. And also, we do have to talk about that cord kill element. If people are just not buying cable bundles, but are paying for Mac, say, this is a way to get them to watch CNN where they might not have just watched it before. And that's really what it comes down to, a tech solution to getting people to watch an old format of media. Yeah, that's... That is a good way to look at it. I'm sure CNN is hoping that many people will say, we want this. They really exactly need it to Exactly what Charlie described.